Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my corner of the internet, my name is Jason, and today we're back with some more Hacker Revolution Untold. Hopefully the game will not crash on me. If it does, you will be greeted by another lovely blue screen, and we'll just do what we did last time. I'll go ahead and catch up to exactly where I was before, and resume. Uh, it's less than ideal, but so far I haven't been able to fix things, so I'm just hoping, crossing my fingers, that nothing goes wrong. So anyways, level is in-depth. Brian, I've gone over the kernel log file, and the results are intriguing. It looks like there's a lot of processing going on inside the Zenti data center. I was unable to, unable to find out exactly... I was... Okay, okay, come on! Sorry, my brain is still turning on this morning. I was unable to find out what exactly are they working on. No, wait, never mind, that sentence is kind of messed up. Anyways, the code doesn't make much sense to me. It doesn't look like regular code that performs something. It looks pretty simple. And all it does is processing a lot of input data, after which it triggers a lot of services and other subroutines. Somebody has to know what's, what is happening here. And our best guess is John Paulson. Of course! It had to have been John Paulson. Who else would it be? Head of technology research at Zenti. He keeps a lot of his files at home, as he does a lot of work from there. I suggest we start looking there. It won't be easy, but it's doable. All right. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Starting up, and we have one node point to look at. All right. Now, I played this mission before, went through it fairly quickly, um, but that was a little while back, and I don't remember exactly uh, what I did. So I I'm going in semi-blind. I might remember as we go along uh, how to do stuff. So let's go ahead and scan this place. I just right-click that. Um... So we, first things first, we have an encryption key on it. So we can't even do anything until we get past that, um, that encryption key. So that's 128-bit. Let's just go ahead and, uh, decrypt cam1.homeland. So uh, my guess is this is his, uh, outdoor camera. So this is his house. And, um, I don't know, we're parked out on the street or something. And we're hacking into his security camera. All right, so that's been decrypted. Now let's go ahead and just crack um, cam-1, port 90. Because it's only got a four-character password. We can bust through that like nothing. See? What did I tell you? Piece of cake. All right, so tr Trace is up to 89, which I don't like. So let's go ahead and kill Trace herself down. Glad we stocked up on cash in the last one. Uh, mission. Uh, let's see here. So let's go ahead and connect cam-1, and we're going to connect on port 90. So let's see what's in here. Secure network CCTV service. So we have a client key.seh and a monitor.log. So let's take a look at the, the log. All right, so uh, January, let's see. Um, camera on. Ooh, IR camera on. So... Uh, looking at the log, we can see that um, it looks like they have uh, something referred to as ircam 02homeland on their network. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, I'll scan that sucker. Scan ircam 02homeland. Come on, fingers, you can do it. All right. So I guess this is, this is his. Um, it's a rear-facing camera on the back of his house or something. Now, I also notice an ATM here. And I always love a good ATM! Because that means money. So let's go ahead and scan. None of the cameras have money, right? No. Okay. I was like, if there's money on these cameras, you know, I'm in the wrong line of work. I need to be, like, hacking cameras. Uh, so let's, let's scan ATM. 56.central-bank.com Ah, they have money! Hmm. Uh, so it has an encryption key and uh, a four-character password on fund management. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and crack into that sucker because $3,500 can... Uh, we'll say kill a whole lot of trace. So let's go ahead and decrypt ATM. Right. 
Log out. I always forget to log out. And I can't remember how much is decrypting. Yeah, it jumps it up. So once it hits red, I'm just going to kill Trace because... Uh, if I recall correctly, when you crack a password, it goes up by 15%. And when you're flashing red, that typically means that you don't want to be traced because... Or you don't want to crack a password because it'll put it up by 15% or you're after... <laughs> Words explanation! There we go. I'm glad I got that out of the way. Um, so let's go ahead and just crack ATM port uh, 9999. Man, you know what? Seriously, four character passwords on a on an ATM? That's just stupid. Ah, uh, but it's a game, and, and I know I'm just waiting for waiting for someone to say that. Like Jason, it's a game. She shut up, just play it, guy. Yeah. All right, connect to ATM port nine 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 nine. Let's take a look around. Welcome to Central Bank ATM Services. Please insert your bank card to access your account. Why? I already logged in. Remember, I used my four-character password that I cracked. All right, let's see. Let's see what's in here. Uh, ATM plug. Cat Xen. What is this thing? Xen ATM plug. Okay, let's read this. Intrepid dot Sentinel install log. Unpacking, so it's unpacking a bunch of files, indexer, log, core test, connection passed. Huh. Intrepid.sentinel. I don't know what this means. It might have some relevance later on, but uh, as of right now, I have no idea what this means. Okay, I'm going to kill Trace, and then I'm going to start transferring some cash over. Transfer. Let's start with uh, two thousand dollars. I'm gonna try to do try to do this in uh, uh, two uh, blah blah two transactions. Uh, that way, there. Wait, disconnect. Did you did it just say disconnect to me? Okay, maybe it didn't. Uh, so that should leave another fifteen hundred. So let's go transfer. $1,500 to my bank account. <laughs> or rather, it would probably have to go to my computer. Because if I transferred it to my bank account, it's pretty obvious what happened. Like, huh. So-and-so's bank account has been growing a lot, and we've been losing a lot of money. A eh, coincidence. All right. Now, the reason why I wanted to do it in two is because you, if you look up at uh, the top where I've got my uh, arrow, it shows trace added. 26%. And now, because uh, it's an even number, when I go ahead and delete the logs, it'll drop it down by 13%. Whereas if I had um, an odd number, it would actually round down first. So you kind of lose half a percent there. So it's, not, it's always good to try to get into places while keeping your trace an even number. You know, if you want to get nitpicky. So let's delete logs. Nothing else there. Uh, and I now have a place I can bounce from. That will be handy. All right, so I'm I'm not done with the cam uh, the, the, the front camera. Sorry, I, I ADHD'd in game. <laughs> Connect to cam. Um, what was the port 90? Yeah. So let's see, what are the files are there? The client key. Uh, CCAM client key storage. We advise rewriting all keys once per month using our built in, our inbuilt network management suite. Printing running keyless. Okay, so that's not really useful to me. Hmm. Is that it? Yeah, I guess that's it. Alright, so I guess I gotta... Look at the uh, the IR cam. Wait a second. It says there's three files on here. 64 characters. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to get go in through uh, the IR cam now. Log out. Uh, dec 
Crypt IR Cam. Now I'm trying to figure out what IR stands for. Um, I, I wanted to. Say, oh, I, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. This whole time I've been I've been thinking. Oh, you know it could be infrared, but no, infrared would be IF. No, stupid! It would be IR. Man, <laughs> sorry everyone. Today is definitely not a good day for me. It would it would appear. So right, I've decrypted that. Um, and let's try to well, let's crack in on port ninety. So crack IR cam. Uh, port ninety. Let's see, my trace is at seventy nine percent. So yeah, I'll be fine. Man, my, my, I was racking my brain. I was like, internal revenue cam? I'm like, oh, that's how they know when people are, like, hoarding money and not paying their taxes. Oh, today is, uh, today's going to be an interesting day. For certain? For sure. I'm going to say for sure. Yeah, let's go with for sure. So let's uh, connect to IR cam. That's right, the infrared camera. We've established that now. And let's see what's on here. So secure network CCTV service. And we have another monitor.log. So let's go ahead and ki whoa. I'm I'm going to I'm going to delete logs. I'm like I don't like it when it's up in the red. That that, that creeps me out. It, well, it doesn't creep me out. Yes, Jason, you're scared of a flashing number. It gives me nightmares at night. Holy cow. I are okay. Why am I I oh Someone slap me! Reach through the internet and slap me! Cat monit moit monitor. Thank you. Holy crap! Okay, uh, so we've got uh, um, camera on, cam one, and then IR cam and control server link on. Ping control server security dot homeland. You know, I saw that before uh, the security dot homeland, and I I was. For some reason, I was like, oh, no, that can't possibly be uh, it because it doesn't have a three-letter uh, extension. But um, I, I think I'm going to just not trust my brain right now. And I'm going to go ahead and scan security.homeland. There we go. And it's in the guy's basement. Oh, that's right. And every time you scan, it actually increases your trace a little bit. Which is actually, uh, which is actually uh, fairly accurate. Um, a lot of, uh, well, I'll explain that while I. Uh, uh, come on, decrypt the security thing. Um, a lot of, um, if you get like a, a hacking tool set or a, a Linux distro, or a lot of will say hacking tools in Linux are not, not hacking tools. If you get basically a distribution of Linux that is uh, designed for, we'll say, security testing. We'll call it security testing. That's right, Jason, you're going to tiptoe while you're playing a game called Hacker Evolution. Okay, if it's designed for hacking. <laughs> um, give me a second. So, these are both password protected, but the bottom one's called root. And speaking of Linux, you always want to get into root. Root is basically like, as, as one of my uh, college professors put it, Root is God. Root can do anything. It's kind of like Zombocom. Uh, well, there's a reference for us. Anyways, let's crack security on Homeland and um, port 99. But yeah, a lot of the distros, they actually have like active uh, Wi-Fi scanning and all that disabled uh, because you want to be as passive as possible. It's, um, you know, that's why, um, for instance, like a stealth fighter, uh, if, you know, if you, if you, you don't, uh, or, or a submarine, there's a good example, a submarine. If you're in a sub, it's very much about stealth, is it not? So um, you don't go pinging. If you want to be stealthy, because the second you ping, you reveal your location, and that's essentially what um, scanning is kind of doing. You're pinging. You're trying to detect and see if something is there. Um, 
Wow. 95 again. Trace added. So let's go delete logs. All right. Uh, connected to root on port 99. Welcome to your security, root. John. The hub system is online. CKMs are online with two warnings. Really? Oh, an admin 99 exploit. Wait. Okay, so I have not cracked any port 99s. This is good. So let's download admin the exploit. Excellent. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically a, a rundown for of uh, how why you're being stealthy and why scan would increase your trace. Um. So there's more files to get at. So I'm wondering link. So let's go ahead and uh, del not delete kill trace. We'll go ahead and kill trace. We'll do kill trace twice. I'm, those flashing numbers are giving me a seizure. All right. A seizure? Really? Okay, I need someone else. Someone someone different this time? Through the internet, slap me. Thank you. Uh, crack. Um, security homeland port 90! I have to log out first. Of course, I suspected I might have to do that. Ah! Alright. Connect! To security on homeland port 90? Right. All right, so uh, let's we, we we logged into Link. Uh, I think that's what it was called. Yeah, running Link, the Link process, and we got vid underscore archive dot can. So um, I don't know if that's actually a video file, but let's uh, just you know watch it from the command line. Why not? Right? Yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. Let's see, uh, what do I want to do? Hack the security control server to disable the in-house security. Disable the wireless internet link. Disable the cable internet link. Retrieve the chat transcript, transcript from John Paulson's computer. Delete the logs from the firewall inside the house. Um... Define server root. What is this? Vid archive. So it's a video archive, I'm guessing. Anything about that? Security control server. That's pretty much what I'm working on now. 